Hello everyone. In this uh, topic, I'll show you how to uh, schedule a project. But before that, let me uh, discuss a bit about the scheduling process. So, the critical path method, or CPM, is the traditional techniques for calculating project schedules and determining the minimal uh, total project duration. The CPM uses activity durations and relationships between activities to calculate the schedule dates. Using the CPM, calculation is done in two passes, forward and backwards, through the activities in a project. The critical path is the series of activities that determines a project's minimum total duration and completion date. The duration of activities on the critical path controls the duration of the project. A delay to any critical activity will delay the finish date of the entire project. Critical activities are defined either by total float or by the longest path in the project network. The data date is the date that is utilized as the starting point for scheduling calculation. It is used to schedule all remaining work. During the planning phase, the data date should match the project start date. The forward pass calculates each activity's early dates, while the backward pass calculates each activity's late, uh, late dates. The total float is the amount of time an activity can be delayed from its early start without delaying the project. Total float is the difference between an activity's late dates and early dates. Any activity whose total float is less than or equal to zero are critical. When you schedule a project, activity uh, dates are calculated according to durations and lodging. After uh, the project is scheduled, note the changes the position of the activities on the Gantt chart. Activities are displayed according to their calculated start and finish dates. Critical activities are displayed in red. So for this, let's first go into P6 Professional. And for us to actually schedule the project, we need to have it open. So let's open our project and now if we go to schedule we'll have the current date and also a location where to save the files uh, the log files let's log the file and actually schedule this project let's ignore the logs Uh, I'll ignore this as this was opened in uh, share mode. I could go back and open it uh, exclusively, but uh, since I'm the only user, I can ignore it. And as you can see, it uh, updated my Gantt chart. These already have been changed, and you can perform a similar task by going into P6 Web and schedule the project from here as well. If we go to the scheduler and let's select a different uh, data date we can also so before it uh, wouldn't allow me to save the file because it wasn't uh, visible and let's schedule this and it, after a few seconds this should be finished at this point Thank you everyone for watching, bye bye.